Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial. This segment's being brought to you by BooksGrowBusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books done to educate consumers, grow their practices, and to leave a legacy. We're doing a series of spotlights on remarkable advisors from across the country. And joining me on this segment is Evan Compton. He's the co-founder of True Financial Registered Investment Advisors. Evan, welcome to the program. Hi, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Evan. Tell us a little bit about your work and specifically, who are the types of folks that you help? Uh, about our work is we, we try to take on a full holistic financial picture. So uh, we deal with everything from our first step, which is debt planning and management. Um, a lot of uh, professionals and young adults have a lot of debt these days, way more than they, they did in the past. And a standard financial advisor, usually you know they, they kind of glaze over that step. But we find that um, it's something you have to deal with uh, at the very beginning to make sure you can commit to the rest of it. We also have a budget that we are very proud of. Um, budget is kind of like the backbone of what we do. It allows everything from investments, retirement, um, and supplemental investing to all be accomplished. If you can follow that budget, if you, if you know what, how much money we have to spend, to allocate toward investment, to save, then um, everything has a much accurate, more accurate you mentioned debt. Did you do you find that that's like the number one biggest challenge people face when they come to see you, or it, do they think it's something else? I say that every client's different. I'd say that more and more debt is happening. I'd say more and more young people, especially like young professionals between the age of like twenty five and, and thirty five, they're they're accruing more more and more debt. So some might have a large amount of student loans, so we deal with that. Um, and others um, may have gotten themselves in like a credit card trap, you know. Um, others may have been self-employed and ran to, you know, health insurance bills without insurance, and that uh, can sometimes be a killer. Um, those can be very expensive, and just debt in general is something that more Americans are being used to, and we're trying to forewarn them of the consequences of that debt. Is there a plan or something that you put, help them put in place to get rid of that debt right off the top. How do you help them with that? Yeah, so what we do is we are not a debt consolidation company of any sort, but we help people figure out which one is charging them the most interest and figure out which one is the most important to pay down first and always having a plan. What a card with a couple thousand dollars on it or a mortgage, you know, we at least take a look at um, what the most effective way to get to pay that off is, how much money, how much interest they'll save if they pay on a mortgage early, how much interest they'll save if they pay on a credit card early. So we always have a ranking of all their debts in a row. Um, usually credit cards start at the top and mortgages are obviously more towards the bottom because they're a very large amount. Has this uh, pandemic had any effect on your industry or, or on your clients? What have you found uh, different? Well, I, I think that the pandemic has made me more passionate about what I do. Um, True Financial, one of our main um, pillars here is to make sure that people have at least three to months three to six months cash and savings. Um, we find that it's important that's completely liquid. Um, a lot of people don't like putting that amount of money on the sidelines when they could be earning interest or um, potentially uh, making money in real estate or wherever. Um, but we found that it's very important because of emergencies, just like the pandemic. A lot of people are out of work for some time, and even if they did get unemployment, um, they were in such a backlog that it was very important for everyone to have an emergency fund um, and I think that the pandemic made us more passionate about making sure you have at least three to six months savings liquid at all times. So you mentioned, you know, a, a good idea, three to six months of liquid cash on hand. Are there any other, uh, you know, ideas out there that, that uh, maybe even misconceptions, any myths or misconceptions that you find people still holding today? Um, no, I, don't, I can't think of any myths and misconceptions. I just think that you know, money these days can be such a problem, especially with couples because of communication. Um, and you hear a lot of things on the internet and people think that you can just insert one thing in your life and finances will be fine. But just like anything else, it's a lot of hard work and it's, it's, a, it's a long haul, it's a, it's a marathon that you have to keep uh, learning a lifestyle of how to live and how to be the millionaire next door rather than um, trying to go out and make a million dollars and continue that regularly, so. I think that most people don't realize that. So as you work with clients, you mentioned earlier, you see a lot of debt these days. 
Uh, is that like the biggest mistake or pitfall you find, or are there any other big pitfalls or mistakes you could help people avoid? Yeah, I, I, I think uh, well, one of the biggest pitfalls is obviously the, the debt, but that's fixable. Um, another pitfall would definitely be living above their means, which is budget. So the, everything leads back to the budget because if you're overspending, it, it creates the debt. So I think if you're trying to get at the base root of everything, you have a budget for yourself, um, I think that will help you avoid debt. And I think that will um, help you set yourself uh, on goals, for example, for retirement. You know, if you have a good budget, you know you can put a 10% towards your retirement. And the earlier you can save and the earlier you know how much you're supposed to save, the easier it is to retire. Because obviously, if you wait longer, you have to contribute more each month just to make your uh, deadline. Sage advice. Evan, what inspired you to get into this field and help folks? How did you get started? Uh, well, I started, my business partner and I started about 13 years ago. We, were, we lived in Northwest Indiana at the time, um, and we had a job um, for a Fortune 500 company. Um, and I, what happened was we realized that we weren't really enjoying management, and we weren't really helping people. Um, I, I wanted to help people with money. That's why I got into the industry. And I didn't like the idea of being tied down to any company. Um, it ended up being very important to both of us to be independent, to be able to be competitive in the market and offer uh, everyone that's available. Um, it's very, it's, it's very rare that we stick with a company for, for no, for, you know, just because we like them. We, we always look at the numbers and we, we use this as a guideline. So Evan, before I ask you my last question, uh, for folks listening that really want to get their financial houses in order, but they just don't know where to start. What's the most important thing that they should consider when uh, choosing an advisor to work with? Yeah, you're choosing an advisor. You just have to make sure that you're a good fit by um, continuing to see them. Um, at True Financial, we see everyone um, a few, you know, five, 10, 12 times in the first year to make a, for, make a financial plan. Afterwards, we see everyone every 90 days. So the biggest complaint that we get from our clients is that, hey, I met with this advisor. I didn't really understand everything. He gave me all this advice. And then I see him once every couple of years, you know, he only calls me when he needs something. And we think it's very important that you keep a pretty standing relationship with all of your clients. So even when a financial plan is established, meeting every 90 days, just to have a conversation about money and what they're currently working towards. Uh, we compared to changing the oil in a car, you need to have regular maintenance to make that, uh, to make your financial plan go, you know, keep going uh, steadily. That's terrific. Evan, for people listening that would love to speak with you, how do they find you, connect with you, and learn more? Yeah, so the best way to connect with me would be uh, at our website, truefinancial.org. It's T-R-U without an E or a G. Um, you can schedule a meeting, uh, an initial free consultation right on uh, the website, and me or one of our other advisors will um, get you as soon as we can. Hey, Evan, this has been great. I really appreciate you taking the time and, and sharing with my audience today. I wish it continued success for you and for all of your clients. Thank you very much. You too. That was Evan Compton. He's the co-founder of True Financial Registered Investment Advisors. This segment's been brought to you by BooksGrowBusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books done to educate consumers, grow their practices, and to leave a legacy. That's all for now. I'm Mark Imperial, and thanks for joining me.